Hello everyone, it's my great pleasure to introduce our work, Dynamic Convolution, Attention Over Convolution Kernels. My name is Yan Peng Chen, a researcher in Microsoft. I collaborate with Xi Yang Dai, Meng Chen Liu, Dong Dong Chen, Lu Yuan, and Zi Cheng Liu on this work. In this work, our goal is to increase the representation capability for lightweight CNNs like MobileNet efficiently. A simple solution is to increase the width or the depth of the network. However, this is not efficient, as the computational cost increases proportionally. Now our goal is to find an efficient solution with low computational cost. Rather than increasing the network size, we adapt convolution kernel weights to the input. Specifically, the convolution kernel is a function of the input. Thus, different images are processed by their own proper convolution kernels. Compared to the static convolution, which has weight w and bias b, dynamic convolution is a superposition of multiple convolution kernels. Here we have k parallel convolution kernels, w1b1 to wkbk. They are aggregated by attention pi1 to pi k. These attentions are computed by a function over the input x. Thus, the superposition is input dependent. Please note that attention model and the kernel aggregation have very low computational cost. The attention is modeled by simply using average pooling and two fully connected layers. Finally, it is normalized by softmax. All the species together form a dynamic convolution layer. Training dynamic convolution networks is challenging since joint optimization of both convolution kernels and attention model is difficult, especially when network gets deeper. This is because, first, the attention model pi x is hard to learn as the output space of the aggregated kernel is large. Second, the combination of multiple kernels across layers explodes as the network gets deep. To address these issues, we constrain the space for the aggregated kernel. Firstly, we let the attention value between 0 and 1. Here we have three kernels. The output is constrained in two pyramids. Next, we let the attention sum to 1. Thus, the output space is further compressed to a triangle. The red dashed line is normalized to a point on the triangle. The reduction of the output space facilitates the learning of attention function pi x. Softmax is a natural choice for these constraints. However, softmax results in near one hot attention. This slows down the convergence at early training epochs, as it is hard for multiple kernels to be optimized simultaneously. We need a solution to make attention near uniform in the early training epochs. This can be achieved by using a large temperature tau in softmax. This figure compares tau equal to 1 and tau equal to 30 for a network with 51 dynamic convolution layers. The training converges slowly when tau equal to 1, but converges much faster when tau equal to 30. In practice, we found that temperature annealing from 30 to 1 is even better. Here are some main results. Now a message gains 2.9 plus top 1 accuracy with only 4% additional flops on ImageNet classification using MobileNet. The dynamic convolution is more effective at higher levels than lower levels. And the dynamic convolution is also helpful for key point detection. In our work is related to the recent studies on dynamic inference, where the kernel weights are static, but the inference path is dynamic. Now a method does not change the inference path, but focuses on dynamic convolution kernels. Compared to the concurrent work, conditional con, now our method has less kernel per layer, smaller model size, less computations, but achieves higher accuracy. The key difference is that we use different constraints on the tension outputs. Thank you.